Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Toriel Sultan. If you're currently manually typing all the emails and composing the email sending to people, you need to stop and watch this entire video through because I'm going to show you this really cool app called a post sheet that's going to automate all your email sending with a dynamically updated subject line and email body. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So on this channel, I review a lot of automation tools, strategies, and the methods. So every week I'm posting minimum three videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I promise you, you're gonna find tons and tons of valuable content on this channel. With that said though, here is a post sheet main website. Scroll down into the middle. For integration wise, here's a list of 10 servers that currently post sheet supports. I'm mainly gonna use for Gmail. If you wanna go with the SMS through Google Sheets data, you can go with a Twilio setup. Basically how it works, there is simple three steps. First one, you want to make sure you have the data on a Google Sheet. We're not going to install any add-ons. We're not going to install any widgets, extensions. We're only using one link. That's it, the sheet URL. From there, we can write messages, compose, dynamically updated email. You can see there, we're going to get into it just in a moment. And third step, sit back and relax and let the email automation do its thing. For pricing wise, they have a three tiers of pricing. If you go with a monthly for $9 a month, you can trigger 1,000 email every month. For $49, if you want to go with a more professional plan, you can trigger up to 10,000 email per month. And then for $99, that's 100,000 senders per month. However, I do want to let you know that Post Sheet is currently available on AppSumo as a one-time deal. So one-time purchase, you get to own this app for life. For $49, let's scroll down a little bit, it comes with a 10,000 cent per month. And then this is unlimited jobs or campaigns and no limits on adding any more integration on the account. So if you're interested in this deal, the link is in the description below. So once you have your account set up, here is how the dashboard looks like. You can choose either Google Sheets or Airtable. The mythology behind it is exactly the same. So in this case, we're going to go with a Google Sheet. So you can either create a new job, meaning a new campaign, or you can check all your jobs or campaigns underneath the second option. You can see here, this is my job number one. I tested three emails and they are all completed. And fourth option here is support in case you have any questions you can drop them a note here let's put this into action and let's test out how we are triggering these automated emails And how it works is based on your own operation or your own business need, right? In this case, you can clearly see we might be able to compose a template and it will automatically trigger to all these buyers and we notify them their order number and their address and so forth. Once you have the account connected with a post sheet, post sheet is able to pull all the data from your Google Sheets. And all you need to do is grab this Google Sheets URL and come back to post sheet. You want to paste it inside of your Google Sheet document bar right here and click on next. And now you want to determine what do you want to do with this job. In this case, we're sending email. However, if you want to send SMS, you can go with the Twilio. If you don't use Gmail at all, then just go with any one of these nine email providers. Again, in this case, let's go with a send email with my Gmail. And now it comes the fun part. Let's start composing this email, this template together. From address, it's going to automatically set your default with a Google account. From name, I'm going to input my own name for now. And this is optional, of course. And then for email address, if I click on this drop down, it automatically detected what's on that Google Sheet in terms of the header role. In this case, all the email address is located on the third column, which is a C column, email column here. To name, what you want to do is click on any one of these buttons to start introducing the variable into the field. So I want this to name field to dynamically change. So what I'm going to do is click on this field once, select on first name, space, and then click on last name. So what we did here is a to name is this person's full name from the Google Sheet. So subject line, I input here, hi, first name. Again, this is going to be automatically, dynamically updating itself. Here is your order update. And that's going to be our subject line. And in terms of the email copy, you, and you can basically type anything that you want. However, I recommend you guys to start making it more dynamic, meaning introducing some variables to make this email more dynamic and it changes based on who you send it to. Instead of say, hi, we're going to go space. Let's introduce the first name and click on comma. And now here's an update on your recent order. Remember one of our variable here is order number. 
come inside of the bracket and click on order and that's it and now it's going to dynamically update this order number and then i want to put a number sign or pound sign in front of it we have a one more variable which is their shipping address right and remember the last field of the google sheet is address and now i'm going to type in the address since we have a variable that's a phone number let's introduce that so the phone number you provided at checkout is so we put a space after is and now let's come back to one of these options click on mobile and now at the end let us know if you have any questions all the best so that's it you see this one email there's so many dynamic or personalized field or data we can print onto it and now since everything is good to go let's click on preview as you can see here we have a three row of data on a google sheet and now we can pre-roll each one of them individually you can see from is my name the address is the gmail address first person is jessica right and here's the subject line you see the first name perfectly just printed into the subject line and remember we inserted the symbol right in the email template this is the address she left in the email and here's the phone number that she left in the system again make sure you give it a preview to make sure everything looks good because once you trigger this and there's no undo button here right once you're happy with everything click on send to three recipients an extra layer of confirmation so i'm sure click on ok and now the entire campaign has been completed as you can see here and the detail is from google sheets to send gmails right and the template here is a template that we used in this campaign right away first thing the email went straight into my email inbox and second you can see here here's a dynamic updated email the entire system is so easy to use straightforward and not complicated at all right before i go i want to let you guys know that i reach out to post sheet team basically to ask them what's coming up for post sheet in terms of the features and so forth and here is a list of all the upcoming features they're planning down the road we have a multiple threads campaigns and other features i'm really excited about is email open tracking and click through rate tracking and perhaps scheduling and giving them an ability to opt out of the entire sequence remember that post sheet is relatively a pretty new app right so they probably don't have those amazing feature you're looking for however it gets the job done and the entire dashboard is so simple to use and that's why i'm really looking for a post sheet team to roll out all these features mentioned above so that is a wrap up of this entire post sheet review video and now let me ask you a question what do you think about post sheet would you use this for your own operation and most importantly what would you use it for drop some comments below i'd love to give them a read if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure you do i have amazing content coming up down the road this is Tariel Sultan signing out i will see you guys in the next one cheers